Today, Saturday, October 24th, the Ministry of Health and Wellness received confirmation of four new cases of COVID-19. This brings the total number of cases diagnosed to date in country to 52. Three of the four new cases were identified through the contact tracing process and were already in quarantine. This brings the total number of active confirmed cases currently isolated in care to 25. Case number 49 is a 35-year-old female, a close contact of case number 39, identified through a contact tracing process and placed in quarantine. She's currently asymptomatic and from the Groselet district. Case number 50 is a 40-year-old female who accessed care at one of the respiratory clinics with signs and symptoms of COVID-19. She's from the Groselet district as well. Case number 51 is a 45-year-old female who accessed care at one of the respiratory clinics with signs and symptoms of COVID-19. She was placed in quarantine. She's from the Viewfort district. Case number 52 is a 46-year-old female, a close contact of case number 37, identified through the contact tracing process and placed in quarantine. She's from Castries district. The Ministry of Health and Wellness is aware that the sudden spike in cases has raised alarm and created tremendous concern among our citizens. This is indeed understandable. However, it is important that we all remain focused on sticking to the infection prevention and controlled measures. By so doing, even if we unknowingly come into contact with someone who is infected with the virus, our adherence to the recommended measures can protect us and others from the infection. By keeping the infection prevention and control guidelines, the spread of the virus from one person to another can be stopped. The Ministry of Health, we make a strong appeal to everyone that if you are experiencing respiratory symptoms, which include a cough, sore throat, fever, please promptly seek care at the closest respiratory clinic. We are now in the midst of the traditional Je ne Quayol weekend. However, this year, we need to make the small sacrifice for the benefits of all by limiting our celebration to members of your household. By so doing, we are protecting the health of everyone. The Ministry of Health and Wellness, we will continue providing regular updates as new information becomes available.